Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. Husband, 34 male, got word about physical affection from me, 36 female, and things escalated very badly. My, 36 female and husband, 34 male, who had been married for two years and had been together for five years, used to be highly affectionate with each other in a fun, flirtatious, and loving manner. He determined a few months ago that I was too clingy and that he would be the one to initiate any physical contact from then on. I don't believe I was slash him clinging. I initiated hugs and kisses a few times a day, as well as a few more casual touches like a hand on the shoulder, but I wasn't groping him every second. I knew he was dealing with difficulties from a tough background at the time, not physical abuse, but more emotional abandonment slash alienation issues with his parents, so I wanted to give him space and not make this about me particularly since he vowed to continue being affectionate on a daily basis. And he has done so, maybe a little less than previously, but we still have. Some loving touches, started by him, every day, as well as more personal actions a couple of times a week, used to be more like three dash four times a week, but again, I know he is going through some stuff. I found out at work a few days ago that I had received a significant promotion and bonus. I was so happy when I arrived home that I put my arms around him, breaking his rule that he had to initiate contact. He instantly shoved me away and became enraged. It wasn't an S embrace at all. It was more like the type you see sports teams give one other after a huge victory. I attempted to apologize, but he became enraged and began ranting about how I was an abuser who had scarred him. He requested that I leave, I quickly packed a few things and went to a motel not wanting things to escalate further. According to his brother, when I left, he attempted to go to the police to pursue charges, but they indicated that a fast embrace from one's wife, even if it wasn't truly one it expected, was not something they would prosecute. He has now threatened to contact my work and inform them that I am an abuser who participates in S misbehavior in my personal life. I'm not seeking for legal guidance here, rather I'm curious whether he'd be justified in informing my employer about what transpired. Even if it wasn't intentional, I made a horrible mistake. I think that individuals have the right to decide whether or not they want others to make contact with them and that they should have physical autonomy. Because I wouldn't be traumatized by a hug, it doesn't imply he shouldn't be. I'm ready to accept that he could divorce me over this and that I might lose other vital friendships and familial ties as a result. Should I, on the other hand, lose my job? My employment is working in an office with other adults, not with vulnerable individuals. I don't and have never made physical contact with employees, with the exception of the rare handshake or high five. Update. So, everything came to a head. But, not in the manner I expected. While I was at a motel, my husband's brother, Bill, remained with him. After a few days, I received a phone call from Bill, requesting me to come home so that we could all chat. He assured me I would be safe. My husband has been having an affair with an intern at his workplace, 21 female with whom he is completely in love and wants to be with. He told BAL this shortly after I left. He intended to make me the bad person, so he began with the no-touching rule, believing I'd grow tired of it, or that eventually I'd make a mistake and he'd exploit that to imply I was an abuser, which is exactly what occurred, making me the bad man. It was also a means for him to limit all forms of closeness with me while he was falling out of love with me and becoming in love with his affair partner that he made up the trauma stuff and isn't genuinely experiencing a psychotic break, while clearly having some kind of mental difficulties to do something so horrible. For what it's worth, he did kind of apologize. He said he was so in love with the other lady and couldn't bear the thought of hurting me directly by leaving me straight away so devised this scheme. And I was just a bit too in character when I gave him the wrong embrace, branding me an abuser, filing a police complaint, and threatening my job. We got down and discussed everything, with BAL acting as a mediator, and decided to a speedy and amicable divorce. Assets are split 50-50. Fortunately, there were no dogs or children. Under the circumstances, I'm sure I could make things more difficult for him, but I just want to go on with my life as quickly as possible and put this all behind me. I have a solid job-slash-income and don't want anything from him other than my independence as soon as possible. I thank everyone who left a remark and all who sent me messages, apologies for not responding personally to everyone but was a bit overwhelmed, even though things took an unexpected turn. 
It was really beneficial to recognize that what was occurring was out of the ordinary, and it also helped me prepare for the reality when it was revealed. Thank you very much. Story 2. Wife Cheated with Younger Guy I've been married to my wife for about 17 years. I'm 39 years old and she's 42. We married after having our first child together, and honestly, our marriage was going well, so this came as a surprise, at least to me. Our S life was excellent, we had frequented good S, then something occurred and I don't know what to do about it. She cheated on me with a 22-year-old man. He's the son of a family friend who relocated here to attend college and was living with us since we had a spare room. We felt safe allowing him to remain with us since both my wife and I knew his parents, who are wonderful people. Everything went swimmingly when he arrived. He got along well with our kids, was courteous, and followed our standards. Wasn't too noisy at night, blended in well with us, and wasn't a burden. My kids are back in school, and I'm back at work in the office, but my wife still works from home, and he takes a lot of online courses since his school uses a hybrid format. I realized they were moving closer to us, but I didn't think anything of it since why would I? I had a happy marriage, and although this man is attractive, tall, and strong, I was not concerned that things might go wrong. Then I began to get the uneasy sense that something was wrong. My wife would want less s, would be less into it, would be less loving generally, and would just just pull away, while I observed she was all smiles with the new man. She'd get cramps, a headache, and be moody one night, when she'd seldom expressed these things previously, and we had a quite active s life. My concerns were allayed when she would have brief bursts of being her typical self in terms of s and tenderness, but this was only temporary, and she would return to being more aloof. I decided to go home for lunch one day, because I wanted to test whether spending more time with my wife would assist our predicament. I don't live too far away, but it's still a substantial commute, so I received permission to take an extended lunch break. So I go home, and it's really quiet and no one is in the living room or kitchen which is unusual given that it's lunchtime. I go downstairs to my wife's office, but she isn't there. Then I hear something coming from our bedroom, which I assume is a noise. It was the sound of my wife moaning, which I was used to hearing on a regular basis. When I heard her moan, my stomach fell and twisted, and I had a strong need to puke up the whole thing. Even though I experienced a brief moment of disbelief, I was able to comprehend what was going on since my suspicions had been confirmed. As I heard some more grunts and my wife answer yes, I felt ill to my stomach. I made my way to our bedroom as quietly as I possibly could, sometimes hearing moans bed squeaks and the slapping. Sound of bodies smashing together during S, which increased louder as I got closer to the door. As soon as I walked to the door, I saw their garments on the floor, along with my wife and the new guy, who were sleeping on the bed. They having S dog, style with their backs to the headboard and away from the door, so I had a side-angle view of their backs, and they were completely unaware that I was looking at them. I just stood there frozen as I saw my wife being by this guy, who tucked her hair in her, which she seemed to like. I wasn't sure what to do, whether to confront them, surprise her later with divorce papers or get outraged, so I decided to wait it out instead of reacting immediately. I returned to my car, drove away, and sat in a parking lot, repeating what I had seen over and over again. I was astonished. When I returned home, she behaved like nothing had happened and kissed me, but all I could think about was how his had certainly been in her mouth earlier in the day. Even though he was kind as usual, all I could think about was what an arrogant couple he and his wife were. I can't believe she did such a terrible thing to me. I can't seem to get the feeling of seeing her clothes hurled to the floor and her being after my mind after the first gas. This occurred only a few days ago, and I'm not sure what to do about it. I just wanted to get this off my chest, since I don't have anybody to speak to about it, and I'm not sure what to do about it right now.